everyone, it's Kat and welcome to Kat and Liz, where we make DIYs, song covers and a few original songs as well. A while ago we saw a post on Instagram where Marilyn Monroe wore a potato sack as a dress and she killed it and we were inspired. So we decided to do a series where we make our own dresses out of rice bags. And this is part one. If you're wondering where Liz is, she's right in the next room making her dress for part two. All right, let's begin. In this project, we're going to use these green rice bags, tape, and a pair of scissors. First, we went on Google and searched for a wrap dress sewing pattern and we found this page. The link is in the description if you'd like to check it out yourself. We shall start by removing the stitches from the bottom of the bags and then cutting them open from one side. And here we have taped them together to create this large sheet. Now we're going to take our measurements and cut out these shapes. This is for the back and these two pieces are for the front of the dress. We folded the two front pieces from these corners to create a neckline and cut out the neckline on the back part of the dress as well. And these are going to be the sleeves. Here we have taped the front parts to the back part of the dress at the shoulders and attached the sleeves to the shoulder and sleeve holes of the dress by taping them from inside. We turned the dress inside out and taped it on both sides and also taped all the edges to prevent fraying. We then turned the dress right side out and taped the sides again. Now we realized that the neckline was too deep and unfolding this part didn't help. So we folded these two rectangular pieces and shaped them to each side. Now if you like deep necklines, you can skip that part. Or if you want to avoid making the same mistake we did, you can cut out these shapes a little wider. Moving on, we folded up and taped some of the material to make a belt and this is 155cm long and 5cm wide. And that's it for the dress. Before we wear the belt though, we are going to tape the dress at the waist for security. We were left with some scrap material so we decided to make a simple little envelope clutch. For this, we are going to need some E6000 glue and Velcro. These two shapes are two layers thick and taped on all sides. We're going to place this rectangular one on top of this house-shaped pentagon and tape them together on three sides. Then we shall add this yellow strip for a pop of color, cut up a small piece of velcro and glue it to the triangle and rectangle part of the clutch. We let that dry for a few hours and we're done. Time to fill it with some of my essentials and now I'm ready to rock the party. Here's the final look! enjoyed it don't forget to hit the like button and let us know what you think in the comments stay tuned for part two. Oh, and subscribe to our channel up here lots of love and smiles and sparkles see you next time bye